Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about how to move any control diagonally. The control starts from this point and that end here. Again that go back and that from again that start from here. So for this we need to take two control. First is uh, uh, add here, need to level control. And here also need to timer control. So next uh, double click on form load and here we need to take uh, two global variable first is integer x and here after c and t c and t initialize with 0 and here after float and y equal to 1 f now here after double click on form and here let's write to label one dot to text. So in text of label, I'm going to print C tick. Now here after label one dot to back color equal to color dot to so you can take any color from here. Let's take blue and here label dot font. So at your font, we need to first parameter blank space here after the size giving 25 and here a font is time. So font style simply I'm going to give both bold. So you, if you want then you can include any other. So you need to write at your font style dot. So you can select regular as well. Now here are the timer with the timer interval. So timer interval that to here we need to write the timer dot interval so interval in milliseconds is going to give one and here yeah, next we need to start the timer so timer dot start so this is the code inside form load event now next go to form default design and here yeah, double click on timer so this will open timer tick event now here yeah, write the label one dot set bonds so set bonds first for x axis c x y width height so this all must be integer so add here uh, y is in float so i'm going to convert this integer so not like this here yeah, we need to write int y and here width and height giving one point now at your check if cnt double equal to zero if this condition is zero then x gonna increase and here y equal to y plus zero point six zero so this y gonna increase by or uh, 0 0.60 and here after if cnt double equal to 1 so if that condition is true then x decreased by 1 and here y equal to y minus or 0 0.60 f and if x double equal to 700 so if this condition is true then cnt equal to 1 and if x double equal to 1 then cnt becomes 0 again so this is the code inside timer 1 tick event so let's execute the code and check is 
and getting the right output or not. So see right here, control start from here and this is going to moving diagonally. Now control comes to this point. Again that have to that back from or this point diagonally. So this is the way we can or move any control diagonally by writing this code. So at here in let's see first at here. So in level one text, so I've written C sub so that here this is displaying C sub and here or uh, level one back color. So back color is I have given allies blue. So this is allies blue and here after level one dot uh, Want. So right here, the size I have given 25. So you can give any size. So here, let's so give or this time 22. And here, you can give at here or font this time. So this time, going to select the underline. And let's execute one more time. So see at here, it's a size decrease. And here this time underline it's a display and uh, timer dot interval so you want interval so get saves the time in a millisecond so here one millisecond that's it and here timer one dot starts so this is a start method to start the time and uh, here after this code so I begin uh, at here Glow variable so you can initialize x value 1 at here. The output will, or will be same. So see at here, let's start from here, and this is coming this point. Again, that go back. So x value start from 1, 70, 0, y start from 1. So at here, level 1, set point. So x value is 1, y value 1. So one of position that is start and here width and height, width and height. So if CNT is 0, CNT first time that is 0, so X gonna increase. So X gonna increase, so X value start from 1, so that increase and here Y equal to Y plus 0 point. So Y increase by or 0 0.60 M. So if CNT equal to 0, then that uh, continue and uh, so when x value at here or uh, become uh, 700 so 700 then or uh, cnt become 1 so cnt is now here 1 so x gonna decrease y decrease and hereafter when x equal to 1 so at here cnt is now 0 so this is the code to move any control diagonally so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so if you have any doubt related to this video leave a comment definitely i will reply so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you